Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Puppets. Today, my friends, looking at another Ugly Duck Brewing Company beer. This is the Ugly Duck Pepsi in the Tropics IPA. Now, if, I don't know if you've heard of Henry Pepsi before. Some of you might have, especially if you're a Rate Beerian. He's one of the, the top raters on Rate Beer. His little icon is a red teddy bear, his, his uh, profile picture. And uh, he's pretty well known in the Danish beer community, a big beer enthusiast. Uh, I believe he currently works, or I believe he currently works, <laughs> at Amar Boy Coops, who also brewed a tribute beer to him because he hit 25,000 rate beer uh, reviews or uh, check-ins or what you want to call it. So that's pretty amazing. So congrats, him, like it's, it's awesome. It's a while back now and they have a big, had a big celebration for him where some breweries brewed beer for him along with these guys. Uh, also, I'm my boy Coops. I believe Stronzo did as well. And uh, even like Cigar City did like pe uh, Pop Street Passion Fruit uh, Porter or something like that. It's pretty crazy. But um, he's a really cool dude. And hopefully this will be a really cool beer too. It's an IPA on 7.5% brewed with lots of Sorachi Ace, Citra, and Cascade hops. So yeah, let's dig into this one. I'm looking forward to be trying this one because I haven't had it before. So we got the Pabsu in the Tropics poured and it's a really nice hazy orange, dark orange color with a nice two finger or two finger, one finger white head. Looks like a nice darker IPA. Let's take on the aroma. Mmm, yeah, oh yeah, Citra really shines through on it. I'm really getting that really nice, uh, sweet citrus fruit, uh, like mango, papaya, tropical fruit, aroma, passion fruit that you usually get from Citra. Well, really lots of Citra, and the, now I'm picking up on the Sriracha Ace too, the lemongrass that you usually get from Sriracha Ace, and it reminds me of a bubblegum called Yen Yenke, Tsuk Gummy. Yeah, I don't smell any malt in here, just lots of sriracha aids, some like grapefruity, citrusy notes from the, the Cascade. But the citra really shines through with the tropical fruit notes along with the, uh, the sriracha aids. And the sriracha aids in here, uh, combined with the citra, works really well. That kind of fresh lemon grassy, uh, spicy, slightly minty aroma along with the, the tropical fruit notes of the citra works really well. Okay, this is like making my teeth water, let's give it a taste. Cheers guys. Oh, that was just what I needed right now. <laughs> that is really, really refreshing. That is a quite a nice summary IPA. It feels uh, uh, a lot lower than 7.5%. It feels like mouthfeel wilds and all, a little bit like uh, the, the lower ABV ones they do, uh, around 5.9 at Ugly Duck, which is nice, makes it more drinkable. Mouthfeel is like medium dry, uh, really refreshing beer. I mean, this is perfect right now in this weather. And this tastes super fresh. I'm getting a lot more sriracha on the flavor than I did in the aroma. That kind of minty flavor carries through with the lemongrass. Decent amount of bitter grapefruit and a little bit of pine on the back end as well. And a touch of sweet maltiness. This is actually really good. Uh, um, this is actually, I think, maybe... I'm, I, I'm liking this... Maybe even a little bit more than some of the other Ugly Duck beers, actually, or IPAs, because it's just so fresh and juicy. Now, the the Amarillo and Citra IPA, I had the first the other day, I just reviewed an older bottle, uh, and that was really good. I would probably have given that a 90 fresh. This is pretty damn close. I mean, it's got all those nice tropical fruit flavors like mango papaya, uh, a little bit of passion fruit, along with that interesting kind of lemongrass, minty flavor from the Sriracha Ace. And lingering with the cascade on the back end with a bit of grapefruit. It's really nice, as you can see, just going down like water. Super refreshing, perfectly good weather, and really darn cheap. I mean, that's one of the reasons I'm really starting to like Ugly Duck. It's probably the cheapest good Danish craft beer you can get at the moment. It's 25 kroner for a bottle of this. Uh, that is pretty darn cheap, even for Danish standards. You'd usually have to pay at least around 35 to 45 for a bottle. So, good price as well. But yeah, good stuff. Uh, rain wise, I'm gonna go 89 on this one. This is, I, this is so far. Oh, I got a little bit of strawberry note there, almost weird. But yeah, so far, this is probably one of my favorite Ugly Dog IPAs, actually. It's actually really nice. Um, but having the others fresh on tap, they're pretty good too. And I'd probably have gone. Uh, 90, uh, 90 with the Amarillo, uh, what was it, Amarillo uh, Citra, 
if that bottle had been fresh as the one we actually got now at my the beer store or console to work but oh well uh, but good stuff guys I'd definitely re recommend you guys tr uh, check out Dougly Duck now if if you get the chance especially the Papsu in the Tropics IPA if you can get it it's it's really nice it's really refreshing making so, some good beers at Inchloo Boy uh, it's, it's pretty good so yeah guys uh, definitely let me know what you think of the Papsu in the Tropics if you've had it as always guys remember to comment, subscribe check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter congrats to Henrik Papsu on tw tw 25,000 beers <laughs> it's pretty incredible and yeah guys I want to say cheers and I'm going to see you guys in the beer review.